So it's all about people, your design team, the sales team, and the, the network that you have available to you. Formula One teams, it's not the name above the door. We're in this fantastic country, Italy, Ferrari are probably the most recognizable motor uh, racing and certainly car brand in the world. And they've had an amazing amount of success in Formula One. But that, the continued success of your company will be in your hands, in the design hands. And uh, past performance, as they say in investments, is no guarantee of future success. So you have to be constantly driving forward and making sure that people are energized, people are hungry, and people have that attitude that you'll try and win every time. In a competitive business, it's unlikely you will win every time, but you don't take the days that you don't win as a, well, I'm taking my football, I'm not, I don't want to play anymore. Uh, you know, you take that as a motivation to uh, come back two weeks later and try and show what you can do. You know, I knew I wanted to get to Formula One because it was the pinnacle of motorsport in terms of speed. I didn't know exactly how I would get there. I didn't know whether I would get there, but I, I had a very firm goal, which as a young teenager in Scotland seemed like a long way off, but it was on planet Earth and other people were doing it. And if they were doing it, it must be achievable. One step closer to, to my goal, I became the test driver at 22 and I was testing for the likes of, and for those of you who, f who know about Formula One, then over the course of three years I tested for Alain Prost, Nigel Mansell and for the late great Ayrton Senna and sadly through Ayrton's death in 94, that's how I was promoted from test driver to being race driver. And uh, it has to be said largely, not only because obviously the tragic circumstances of what happened in 94, but because Ayrton had, had worked with me as a young test driver. He'd spoken to the team owner, Frank Williams, and told them that he thought I had potential because I knew it was in the best interest of the team. You know, I, my career was not going to continue forever. And because of making decisions that were in the best interest of the team through those four years, I've continued five years after being a driver to maintain a business relationship with Red Bull. And you know that in your sales process, you build good relationships. You might not sell to people every year because they're, they're not buying every year, but when they need a product, you're the person they're going to call. And that's the aspect uh, for me that I really enjoyed in terms of sharing the experience with the team. You're out there selfishly having fun driving the racing car quickly. You're communicating with your team, but they don't have the adrenaline high of driving the car, but they do get the adrenaline high of watching that car coming down the pit lane at 80 kilometers an hour. It makes a difference between success and failure. So it's a high adrenaline, high energy part and a perfect example of teamwork. I can, uh, I can honestly say, oh well. <laughs>